Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, at least for a little while longer anyway. So of course, I'll be talking about the movies, obviously the TV shows, t-shirts, shoes, merchandising, whatever the case may be. And if it's related to Disney in any, sh in any, in any shape or form, then yes, There'd be a good chance I'll be talking about it, obviously. All right, gotta get my cup of Joe. Yeah, my cup of Joe. I always gotta have my coffee. Yeah, I'm always drinking coffee. Always been a thing with me. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mhm. Mm got my cup of Joe. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm but anyway, now you can uh, see from the title of this movie. This video, I mean, I've been talking about another Winnie the Pooh movie again, but this time around, it's a Halloween themed. Yippee! That's good news for me because I like Halloween. I like Halloween. as far as I'm concerned, Halloween is a year-round thing for me anyway. So there you go. And even though I still have to, I still have to wear a good wire for it, but it's fine. It's whatever. Anyway, the film I'll be talking about is the one titled... Yeah, it's this one, folks, of course. This is what you would call a Dirk Tevito animated fantasy adventure comedy film that was produced by the Walt Disney Pictures and, of course, along with the help of Disney Tuna Studios, of course. And, yes, of course, I just thought I'd just talk about this, obviously, and might as well, of course. And it is the final Winnie the Pooh film to be produced by Disney Toon Studios before they moved to the Tinker Bell movies, by the way. So, a little fun fact for you. And, of course, I'm not trying to blame Tinker Bell for anything. I'm not trying to say, oh, she ruined the Winnie the Pooh movies or whatever. That's not what I'm trying to say like at all. Just give me a little something, something behind, about behind the scenes kind of a thing, obviously. And yeah, as you can tell, the quality of the animation is a bit different compared to the others I reviewed. Because keep in mind, this is a direct -to video so of course the budget itself is not going to be exactly super high like some of the others might might have been. Just throwing that out there. So anyway, like always, I have to talk about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? So here we go. The story of Pumas concerns, of course, Winnie the Pooh and the gang, and then the whole thing with the Hunter Echo Woods, of course, is yes, that time of the year where Halloween has arrived. So, of course, they have to celebrate that in their own way, of course. And just basically, of course, the whole idea of getting candy, of course, and then have to dress up and all that jazz. But, of course, it's not as easy as it seems, obviously. Because Pooh here accidentally eats way too much candy, and yeah, that becomes a problem. So there was that. How do you celebrate Halloween without trick or treating, without passing out candy and all that jazz? So that becomes an important part of the story. So you have to figure out this problem, how to fix the problem they have here. When we the Pooh made a mistake, so he accidentally ate way too much because I guess, yeah, I guess in other words. His impulse control is lacking there. Of course, he just had he just has to eat. Of course, but anyway, and of course, we see the tiger, rabbit, and all that. They they have to do their own thing. Of course, and yes, obviously, obviously, like I was saying they have to take care of the situation that that they're in. Of course, yeah, it's, it's of course the thing is that. It's somebody's first Halloween. That's pretty much where this comes from. So, uh, yeah, the place that they live in is definitely huge, folks, of course. There's definitely a lot of ground they have to cover. And could easily use it, use this as a way to have this embarking in an adventure type of story, which is basically this, is, of course, is about going on a journey. Uh, of course they would. I mean, there's a lot of ground to cover anyway, so it's fine, I suppose. Gotta make things happen somehow. Gotta start the story up some kind of way, obviously. So there's that. This kind of thing has to be. This has to be a special Halloween because it's somebody's first Halloween here, of course. 
that does become a thing. So the group of uh, friends pretty much have discovered the how to how do I put this? Yes, they have to discuss this kind of thing after discovering this, and they have to pretty much discuss their plans for this Halloween and their and their first night of trick or treating. So of course, Tigger pretty much tells his friends about let's just say this dreadful thing, this monster that comes out every Halloween and search for somebody to uh, catch. So that becomes a part of the story because, oh no, this is so scary and all that jazz, you know. How frightening. Well, for them anyway. And that's basically the summary of this story, really. Again, just like a lot of the others, very straightforward. And these characters are in this situation where they just have to just deal with this with this thing they have right here, of course. And they just have to figure out how to pretty much save them the way it should be. Trying to have some fun, but of course, it's not as, as easy as it seems. So it's something just has to be prompted up, of course. Gotta have uh, some kind of, I guess, conflict, I suppose, in some kind of way. And that's what's going on here. Yeah, that, that's about it, really. I mean, there's other bits of pieces I want to talk about the story, but I just want to leave it at that because, like I said before, I don't want to spoil the story. I don't want to spoil too much of the plot. I'd say it's worth watching, of course. I thought this was nicely done for, for what it's worth, of course, for what they're trying to do here, obviously. Again, yes, it is on Disney+, Plus, of course. So if you're not seeing this, you always check it on there, obviously. I mean, I assume they don't change it or whatever, of course, which they've done before. Change some things on there. But anyway, I just thought, like I said, I just thought I'd talk about it since I spoke about the others. But this will be my last review for Winnie the Pooh for now, anyway, for whatever reason. I'll, I'll bring them up later, I guess. But just for now, for the time being, this might, will be my last review for Winnie the Pooh until I have a reason to come up, bring them up, of course, in this channel. And I'm not sure how long that's going to take really well because i'm just throwing it out there and uh, so maybe this could be my last video for him for a good while until later i'll bring him up for whatever reason just thought i'd let you know but i just thought like i was saying just, since i covered the others i might as well go to this one i might as well and but like i said multiple times before if i covered one in a storm of a series i might as well cover them all I mean, unless there's like a specific reason for me not to, but that's like my rule of thumb, of course. At least, yeah. But anyway, for what it's worth, like I was saying, it's fine. It, it's fine. And I did like the character designs, of course. It's fairly detailed, even though, like I was saying, the uh, animation might not be up to par compared to like some of the other animated stuff that they made, of course. But it, it gets, it gets the, it's enough that it gets the job done. It's, something, it's enough that it gets the job done, so I can't complain too much. We ain't gonna come with you. But anyway, I'll give this an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7.010 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah, later.